I'd like to show you another one, but I don't want to use this deck of cards. It's a brand new deck of cards, and the trick I'm going to be showing you in a moment, we're going to be writing all over the card, and I'll be giving the card away. So I've got a deck of cards just for this trick. Well, actually, it should be more specific. It's what's left of a new deck of cards. I've got about 30 cards or so, okay? And I've always been fascinated by con men from the early 1900s. My favorite was uh, Count Victor Lustig. He was known for selling the Eiffel Tower. Not only was he known for selling the Eiffel Tower, he was known for how well he could forge people's signatures. Sometimes he would practice signing someone else's name for two or three months before actually forging a document. Now, I appreciate that much hard work and dedication, but I think a much more sophisticated way of forging is to leave the original signature alone and then just manipulate the document. So I've applied that concept to this next card trick. Now, Andrea, I was going to ask you for your signature, but I doubt you trust me with that by now. So what I want you to do is just initial this card. Initial this uh, ace of uh, clubs like this. That's all I want you to do. Uh, but save a little bit of room underneath, okay? So give me your initials right there. Go ahead. And then what I want you to do is just put a, draw a little picture, anything that you want. It makes no difference. The smiley face. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What a vivid imagination. That's okay. Don't worry about <laughs> Sorry. it. But the whole point is next time you see that ace of clubs, you know that it has to be your card. And it's important to realize that once that dries, that does not come off. Now, can you hold out your hand over the table like this? Because I'm going to give you that ace. And go ahead, push your hand down. Now, I gave you a black ace. you remember if it was the ace of clubs or the ace of spades? I'm sorry. Do you remember what it was? I think it was clubs. Ace of clubs. That's what I thought, too. So I'm going to use um, a red ace so that there's no confusion. That way it's easy to remember that you have the ace of clubs and I have the ace of uh, hearts. It seems to me it's easier to leave both of our initials untouched and just manipulate the playing card. Because if I rub like this, you see, I can get the ace of clubs. <laughs> Lift your hand, turn it over, show it to everybody. What? what? <laughs> I don't even know what to oh. say about that. How did that even happen? 